Intoxicated by Killian Fragrance Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on a fragrance called Intoxicated by the House of Killian. You're probably like, show me the bottle, don't show me that sample, you dummy. Somebody from the Killian Boutique actually hooked it up with a bunch of samples. It's been very nice. I used to be able to get samples on eBay. I don't think you can now. I've always loved getting samples of niche fragrances because everybody can buy them. It allows you to use the fragrance um, a few different times for very special occasions. And usually niche fragrances are just so much more impressive from the blending to the high quality to you get actual unique fragrances with niches versus designers is like trying to use some very common materials and make a bunch of money basically so intoxicated by killian this is probably the closest one to a designer from the fragrances that i got sent wow okay it's amazing how fragrances smell differently in the heat versus the cold it almost smelled a little bit like 212 men by carolina herrera which is a fragrance that i really really like i never purchased i never reviewed but i always really liked 212 men especially for the designer game that's what this reminded me of in more of the heat it's just super hot outside uh, especially in southern california i mean it's probably going to be hot all the way till winter starts, you know what I mean? The notes online, there really isn't that many. There's cardamom, coffee, nutmeg, and cinnamon. I kind of get some nutmeg. I almost get kind of like um, a soapy quality to it, but the soapy quality is definitely only in the cold. I'm in the AC right now, but this is just overall a likable scent. Like to me, it almost smells like a lightly sweet, fruity fragrance. Almost smells like there's a little bit of iris in here. So to me, there's a little bit of a clean vibe that I smell mainly in the cold, um, but I just almost to me what it smells like is a fruity, slightly sweet, likable designer fragrance. Maybe I have the weirdest nose in the world, but that's what it smells like to me. The projection on this stuff has been pretty i would say in the middle and what i would expect from this probably around the same as like you know some two and two men or like some of the better versions of like invictus aqua things like that maybe not like the 2016 version but some of the better versions of invictus aqua around that projection and longevity and i feel like designer fragrances are just a little bit tuned towards younger people and they're a little bit more like a classic sexy cologne and that's kind of what this one smells like there's not too much in this fragrance that screams niche if i smelled this i, I really probably would think it's a designer but when you look at it there's nothing really really smells bad or sour to it i feel like it's just the kind of fragrance that it is and it's called intoxicated so that name kind of sounds like some young people being intoxicated getting into some trouble so i mean that's kind of would fit this fragrance it's likable kind of fruity a little bit sweet just really enjoyable kind of a little bit soapy to me right now but maybe that's just me i don't know i didn't look up anybody's review or comments of this most of the time when i look up a review or a comment i'll see somebody make a point that i agree upon it's almost like then everybody has the same idea everybody's regurgitating the same thing so i purposely did not read anybody's review of this so it could just be like my review based on somebody smelling it and that's it and I feel like that would be a little more interesting than here's what's on Fragrantica. I could read all this. It contains this, this, and this. It's a blah, 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 blah. It's a blah, blah, blah. I mean, nobody wants to see that. So Killian Intoxicated. I haven't been buying too many new fragrances. I'm not really interested in buying too many designers. I have way too many at the moment, but I have been thinking about going into like Ulta or Sephora and kind of doing maybe reviews of first impressions or trying it maybe two or three times, soaking it up and then doing a first impression. I feel like that might be a little bit interesting, can keep the fragrance content up, but still don't have to dump a bunch of money into fragrances because I have so many. Killian's Intoxicated, very nice, very likable. Uh, closer to a designer really fits the name I think it's a pretty good fragrance if I was gonna rate the whole fragrance overall I'd probably rate it in the range of a 7.5 to an 8 anyways guys let me know what you think of Killian's intoxicated let me know what your favorite Killian fragrance is and let me know what niche fragrance you're liking right now I'll be very interested to see we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace